Hey y'all, welcome to the last video from Miss Miller. Um, I just have a few announcements for y'all. I know that phrase is gonna haunt y'all for the rest of your lives. Just a few announcements, along with me counting down from 10 in the hallways. Um, so you're about to take this exit survey. Last thing you have to do for my class. Um, the first part is five things you need to know about Miss Miller. If y'all have been here since the beginning of the year, you might remember reading these the first week of school from my kids last year. I had them very last week of school. They wrote five things down that they thought that y'all would need to know about me and it kind of gave you a taste of what was coming. So if y'all would think of five things that you think my kids next year need to know about me, I'd appreciate it. Um, things that I like, don't like, the way I like to run my classroom, um, you know, things that will prepare them for the year that's about to come. Um, then the second section is things that worked and didn't work in my class. Um, you know, all throughout the year, I would ask on like the Google forms, like, did you like this? Would you rather do in groups and partners? Do you want to work at your own pace or with the class? And then I changed the class based on what y'all said. Um, so y'all's answer to this will tell me, um, how I should run my classroom next year, um, what I should be doing differently, what I should be doing the same things to keep throughout, stuff like that. So if y'all just think of some things that um, you think I should continue doing or not continue doing, that'd be great. Um, and then the third thing is the final goodbyes. Um, there's a section for you to write any last words to me or Miss Chelsea. Um, I am not going to be here next year. Um, I have accepted a position in Austin, Texas, teaching sixth grade reading, so I won't be here anymore. Um, and Miss Chelsea is going to be a city year team leader. Um, they haven't released what school she's going to be at yet, but it's it's probably not going to be Webster. I think there's a few people that want to do Webster, um, so she probably won't be there either. Um, so if you have anything like last words you want to say, appreciations, um, you're holding a grudge and you want us to know about it, go ahead. Um, I won't change your grade based on any of these answers. This is just getting stuff off your chest, um, clearing the air, what have you. Um, and then I also wanted to say uh, thank y'all for, you know, the year that we've had together. Um, y'all know my kids last year were wild. Um, they're, they were just wild. <laughs> they're still wild in the hallways. Um, and it was such a pleasure to be teaching y'all. Um, y'all are such a, a smart young group of kids. And I know every teacher says that, but I really, y'all are smart. Um, like you're, the lowest of y'all's lows is still higher than a lot of other groups of kids throughout TPS, which I know because I have a lot of teacher friends at different schools. Um, so y'all are really capable of so much. Um, and some of y'all know you're smart and don't do as much work as you should. Um, but I really hope that y'all will push yourselves in these upcoming years, um, especially with this quarantine, social distancing. I'm thinking we might have to go in and out of it and you're gonna have to do a lot of stuff on your own. There's not gonna be teachers always there to force y'all to do things. Um, and you know, for the 30 of y'all that did my work all throughout this last quarter, um, you did you did your work by yourself. That's a huge accomplishment. Um, and I hope those of you who chose not to do it, I totally understand. Quarantine has been crazy for me too. Um, my Chromebook is not meant for a million Zoom calls. I'm gonna have to get a new computer um, before I start my new job, so that sucks. Um, but I really hope that y'all choose to interact more with school. Um, y'all are such a funny group of kids um, and y'all are creative and wonderful. And I have really enjoyed um, being y'all's teacher. And uh, it's such a difference from last year when I went in thinking, oh, who am I gonna have to yell at today? And this year I came in thinking, oh my gosh, what crazy things are these kids gonna say? What insults are they gonna say to me during uh, Shakespearean Valentines? Um, and that was such a cool experience for me. So thank y'all for being wonderful. Um, thank y'all for participating. I know my class was depressing. I have this um, piece of 
art right here. That's Romeo and Juliet, the whole play. That's what I've been doing during quarantine, crafting. Um, so I hope that y'all remember these stories and you think of reading things that you normally wouldn't have read before. And I particularly hope that The Outsiders change your perspective on some things. Um, it's not a book that I would normally have read, which if you're if you didn't read it, because you think that all my books are boring, like this is the book you should read because it's not something I would have chosen um, on my own. I happened to read it because we had copies at Webster and I ended up loving it. Um, so even if you didn't read it, read it over the summer. It's such a good book. Um, yeah, so y'all have a great summer. I'll put my email address on um, Google Classroom in an announcement. Some of y'all are following me on the Instagram. That's great. Um, if y'all need anything, let me know. I'm here until July so I can help y'all out if you need. Bye.